Love sometimes is taking a few steps backwards and maybe even more to give way to the happiness of the person you love. Aaron and I were playing in a sandbox, remember he's two years older than me, um, near our old apartment building in downtown Boston. Now, I'm sure everyone here knows that Aaron is just about the gentlest person in the world. And apparently as a kid, he was even gentler because apparently in the sandbox, this random kid comes up to him and took his toy away. But Aaron, of course, couldn't stick up for himself. So what happens? Well, little bro to the rescue. And apparently I clocked this other kid in the head with my fire truck to make sure to get Aaron's toy back for him. I like to think I had a master plan in mind, paying it forward a little bit. Because since then, Aaron really has always been looking out for me. You've always been there for me. Whether it was lending a more stylish outfit, because we all know that I could still use it today, <laughs> to picking me up after a night on Main Street and allowing my friends to lie and tell you that I just needed a pit stop for my non-existent contact lenses. <laughs> I feel so blessed to have you as my partner in crime and just my sister. All of us wards can agree that life is just more fun with you. He's a remarkable young man, and we've been impressed with him from the very beginning. I remember meeting Aaron for the first time. Aaron profusely thanked Betsy, gathered up his dishes, Catherine's dishes, my dishes, Betsy's dishes, and then wiped the countertops. And I said, hey, this is a great guy. He eats like a ton and cleans up after himself. <laughs> We are all convinced that this wedding is uniting two wonderful people and two great families. Aaron, you've clearly shown everyone how much you love and cherish our daughter, and it means the world to everyone here. We welcome you to our family. What a gift it is to be here to get to celebrate and rejoice with them as they give their hearts to one another in love. Love means a covenantal love, a steadfastness, a binding love, and a steadfastness to not give up on one another. And that's the very kind of love that the two of you described in one another. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with truth. The two of you get to decide together what you're gonna bring into your marriage and into your home together. Your attentiveness to one another's needs, even before a need is expressed, each of you is paying attention to the needs of the others, listening to what they need and responding without question. Hi, Aaron. Take you, Catherine, to be my wedded wife. Hi, Catherine. Take you, Aaron, to be my wedded husband. I promise to fully share my life with you. Through good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. And to be faithful to you. I promise to fully share my life with you. Catherine, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and commitment to a life filled with joy. She's always giving 110%. As a daughter, a sibling, an aunt, a friend, and now we'll know she'll give the same level of energy and commitment as a daughter-in-law and certainly as a life and partner to Aaron. So for these reasons, and because of, especially because of your adventuresome spirit, I also have a small gift for you. It's a compass. As you know, the needle always points north. So I'll remind you to set a true course with your heart, which is straight to Aaron. <laughs>